Well, folks, long time no see. Um, surprise, I'm in Florida. Wow, could I hold this anymore? Unsteady. Dink. Oh, okay, that was a lot. Yeah, I'm in Florida. I live in Florida now. Woohoo! Um, and we are going on our first dive. So I am parked up at Pura Vida Divers to pick up a uh, tank and weights. And then I'm headed out to Blue Heron Bridge for a night dive. So first dive in Florida and we're going right into my second night dive ever at Blue Heron Bridge. So let's go. Weights and tank secured. Boy, am I good at this vlogging thing or what? Check out these camera angles. Woo! Slow me down. Oh, oh God, I'm so good at this. All right, whatever, here's the deal. Can I just be honest? I think I can be honest with you guys. You only knew the amount of anxiety I pushed through for diving. Like, does anyone else have an irrational anxiety for parking? Why? Like, if I don't know what the parking situation is, I am like quaking. Like, I get so worked up over what I'm supposed to do to park. For what? And for what? So luckily today is a day where I knew it was going to be, like, easy to get a parking spot because it's a Thursday evening and it's also raining. So I don't know how many people are really jiving to get out here and go diving right now so I knew I wasn't gonna have to fight for parking but I know that like weekends are tough to get a parking spot here and so are anytime like the boats are canceled that's what I've been told so now I kind of have a better idea of the parking situation hopefully I'm less anxious about it but then again the first time this is filled up and I'm gonna have to park like over there and haul my gear is gonna be an interesting time. That's for sure. But we're we're making it happen. We're making it work. So um, I just was curious if anybody else also has parking anxiety or if it's just me. Anyway, it looks like it's going to be raining for the rest of the night. Um, and I'm getting my little GoPro tray set up. These are going to be my lights for the night dive because I only have one other <laughs> flashlight. And I'm waiting on my dive buddies to arrive. I feel like it's probably not too bad under the bridge to set up. My wetsuit's already wet because I dove in the aquarium earlier today, so. I don't know. We're just going with the flow. We're just figuring it out. Yeah, this is a GoPro tray I got off of Amazon for like $85, 80 $85 or something like that. Um, these little lights, like these just have some settings on them. And then that mounts right there. It's about as fancy schmancy as I am willing to get with cameras. Got my fresh battery, fresh SD card. Good to go. Good to go. All right. Yay. I see divers out setting up their gear. So I think it's time. I think it's time. And they're kind of just like, they're kind of just like doing it right on the, right there. So... Why do I feel like I don't know what I'm doing and I've never been diving one day in my life? Oh, not me. <laughs> Hershey blows, folks. 
what she looks like. And what's nice about the fact that it's raining is that I'm under here. So you can't really uh, feel it, I guess. This is what she looks like. How pretty. Look at those boats. And you got front row parking. I'm right there in that white one. Beep. Let's see if these signs say anything interesting. As if they wouldn't. Oh my gosh, I think these are buckets so you can go pick up trash. How cute. Looks like somebody stole one though. That's just not cool. Marine life. Manatees. Octopus. Parrotfish. Spiny pupper. Here's the thing, folks. I don't really like reading, so... I'll read it. I'll report back. Okay, I literally immediately quit reading because I turned around and look guys, it's a rainbow! So pretty! So we did this dive at dusk, which was really cool to see how all the sea creatures kind of change from dusk until full on night. Right off the bat, there was a big barracuda that showed up. And as you can see, there's still a lot of fish that are swimming around these artificial reef structures. And still a good amount of light coming down into the water as the sun is setting. Granted, we're only about like 12 to 15 feet deep at this point. So there's not a whole lot of depth that the light has to travel in the first place. But you can see that even later in the evening, we're still getting quite a bit of sunlight underwater. Then as the night goes on, we can see there's less fish out and about, but this little stingray shows up. You can see this tiny little spotted moray eel in the sand. And we saw a couple of bat fish on this dive. I think these fish are so interesting. Then we saw a big green moray eel, and this guy was just a little too comfortable with my presence, which made me uncomfortable. Um, he even fully came out of his little hole and started swimming towards us, so I just kept my distance from him, and luckily he went back into another little hole soon after. Then we saw a horseshoe crab. I love horseshoe crabs. I just think they're the most prehistoric, cool looking creatures. And I love their little legs as they scamper across the bottom. And then the coolest thing I think I saw on this dive was this arrow crab that had a whole fish head in its little hands and it was just picking at it and eating it. The current was pretty strong this night so I did a really poor job at staying stable. And then the perfect way to round this night out, we saw this tiny octopus all balled up sneaking across the sand to a new little hiding spot.